All right, today, my friends, it's an exciting day here on Quarantunes. <laughs> Glad to be back here with you today. Drawing cartoons with Dave McDonald. Yes, here we go once again. It was a great day yesterday. Uh, if you'll recall, we drew, yesterday we drew a seahorse. And again, I've been talking to you about how I've been getting excited about coloring my artwork once we're done. So I wanted to show you my colored seahorse. <laughs> Look at that. Did you color yours? <laughs> it's a lot of fun to add some color. And once again, this artwork you can use to make uh, greeting cards for mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. It's just a wonderful thing. Put art on a card, give it to them as a gift. Everybody likes receiving personal gifts like art. Okay. Today is an exciting day. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and start to warm up. You know, I like to warm up with my simple shapes, right? All right. Simple shapes like circles and ovals, curve lines. So as I'm warming up here today, I wanted to give a special shout out to some friends of mine who might be watching today and drawing along with me. It's brothers Liam and Reese. Hey, Liam and Reese. I hope you're doing well today. Do you like to draw? <laughs> I'll bet you do. And their mom, Megan. <laughs> hey, Megan. <laughs> it's almost like you were here. I can almost see you cracking up. Well, she's a great mom to two young, energetic boys. And I just wanted to say, hey, hope they're doing well. Staying healthy and now enjoying some drawing together with me. And something tells me that these boys like dinosaurs. Am I right about that? You like dinosaurs? Well, today we're going to do something with a dinosaur that I think you're going to find pretty fun because today on Quarantunes, it's Wacky Character Day. Wacky character day. <laughs> yes, it is. We're going to take a, we're not just going to draw an ordinary dinosaur. <laughs> that would be boring. Huh? So we're going to combine it with something and make it a little more fun on wacky character day. Okay. What we're going to do, <clears throat> there's a dinosaur called a stegosaurus. Are you familiar with that? If you like dinosaurs, I'll bet you can picture one in your head right now. So what we're going to do is create kind of the shape of a stegosaurus, but we're going to give it a different flare, as you'll see. So go ahead on your paper if you've got your pencil ready. We're going to lightly do the shape of this character. And you know afterwards I like to finish off with my ink pen. So my Pencil lines oftentimes aren't that dark because sometimes I erase part of the lines, but let's get the basic shape here of the Stegosaurus, but that's not what he's going to be named because he's going to be a little bit different. A little line across the bottom. Okay. And then over the top of that, an oval, half of an oval. It's not a full oval, Mr. Dave. <laughs> That's a half of an oval. In fact, it's a curved line. It's an upside down letter U is what it looks like. But this is going to form the basis for our, our dinosaur. Now this end is going to be the tail. So what I like to do is just kind of at least get, at least get started with the tail. A little loopy line goes off towards the edge of the paper. This can join it. Okay. See how that's going to become the tail, the head of the character. Go ahead and draw an oval shape at the end of this, at the end of these two lines, an oval shape. All right. Now what I think I'll do in order, if this is going to be the head and this is the body, I think I need a little transition here. Just kind of come up maybe like this. Do that. Take away part of that curved line. Now we've got a nice neck transition to the body. We've got the bottom of the character to the tail. Now we need the legs. I like to put, let's put a little oval here and oval down here. 
And watch what we do. We use that shape. Now I've been, been using some wrong terms describing parts of the character. Remember yesterday on our seahorse? <laughs> I think I called that the jowl. That's the cheek. <laughs> so sometimes Mr. Dave makes a mistake in what he's trying to say, but I think hopefully you'll understand. This I think is the haunch or the upper part of the leg. And then we'll use this oval to create the back part of that back leg. See how we used an oval here and an oval there? Yeah, it just kind of guided us as we drew the shape. Okay, now the front leg, another big, another oval here for the foot. Come down like this with a curved line. And maybe, let's see what we do here. Like that, back up, and something like that. All right, something like that. And then we can add maybe toenails later, put some circles here. All right, the head of the character. See, what we're doing is kind of cutting out a mouth shape here. This is the head. There's this big smile. Okay. On top, some big cartoony eyes. An oval shape there. Little curve line here. We don't see quite the entire oval on the other side. A couple circles that will become pupils. And here we go. This is what I'm going to... This is what I'm going to call this dinosaur. I want to bring his nose out maybe a little more. This is the famous birthday party saurus. <laughs> the birthday party saurus. He likes to go to birthday parties. Did you ever hear of this dinosaur? No? Well, you can always recognize him by his ginormous party hat. <laughs> yeah, he's always wearing a party hat. He's got the fringe at the bottom that sticks out. Party hat with maybe some stripes that go around it. Sure. Give him his little nostrils there. And he also has, instead of armor along the top, yes, a series of party hats that just go along the back of the character and define and let other dinosaurs know that he's always ready for a birthday party. <laughs> Just some triangles. How do you like that? Okay. And then each one of them could be decorated different. You could put, you know, the little swirly stripes on it, or you could put polka dots or swirly lines. Have you ever been to a birthday party and seen all these decorative party hats? Well, that's what, that's what our character here has. Pretty wacky, huh? Birthday party. Oh, and on the back of this tail of a stegosaurus, you would typically see those spikes to protect. But instead of spikes on the back, he comes prepared to a birthday party. Go ahead and put some little sticks. They're not spikes. They are... Make them wiggly. Birthday candles. <laughs> he goes to a, he never goes anywhere when he's not prepared for an automatic, spontaneous birthday party. So he's got birthday candles on his tail. <laughs> That's pretty funny to me. And then we can kind of give him some dinosaur markings, I suppose. You know, those just a little... Spots of color. All right, let's see here. Now here he's looking at, let's have him looking at a giant. Birthday cake. Is it, it must be layered. It's got the icing coming out there. All right, we'll fill that in later. Maybe it's got some specs. Okay, there is, and then maybe in the background, ooh, watch this. 
giant volcano. Giant volcano that's spewing out, you guessed it, ice cream. An ice cream <laughs> volcano. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Is that a chocolate cake or is it a strawberry cake? Vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream? Well, I guess that would be up to you if you're the one drawing it, right? Over here we could do a little... Now I'm just getting crazy. Draw a little, some kind of a palm, prehistoric palm tree out there, right? A prehistoric palm tree. Isn't a palm tree a palm tree? <laughs> All right, let's get to inking this character. I've had so much fun drawing it. I got to start inking now. And that just means going over my pencil lines, of course. Again, those pupils will have a little white reflection dot. In the corner. Look at that. Little fringe from the, the hat at the bottom. Two little nostrils. Okay, that arched back. Loopy tail. See, we're using those, we use those shapes to get that leg, but we really don't trace around the whole shape, do we? They just helped us, right? Those are some big feet. Good thing we don't have to buy shoes for them. <laughs> and our little birthday candle instead of spikes. See how we just kind of wiggle that pen Take those little birthday candles. And then we'll do the rest of the party hats. Triangles. Now you know, this dinosaur comes from an age that they call, not the ice age, but the icing age. <laughs> Birthday cake icing, right? The icing age. Mr. Dave, that's pretty silly. I'm not sure <laughs> I find that funny, but I do. And he's not a carnivore, he's a cake of ore. <laughs> a cake of ore. He just loves birthday cake. Well, I guess that would make me one, too. What about you? Do you like birthday cake? <laughs> I don't know many people that don't. Decorate these birthday hats. Hey, this is going to be a fun one to color, isn't it? These random shapes. I'm not even going to trade. I'm just going to put maybe, there's four. I'll just put one here. Didn't even trace over the ones that I drew, did I? Look at that. He's got a tongue in there. He's really hungry. And let's draw our birthday cake. That big sloppy icing at the top, just oozing and dripping off the side. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe some colored 
I don't know, colored sprinkles in the icing. And if it's a layer cake, it's going to have a layer of icing in there in the middle, dripping out. Maybe another layer here. How's that look? Wait till you add some color to that. And the big ice cream volcano. With the droplets falling out everywhere. Mm, okay, real quickly. Little tree over here. All right, that's kind of fun. Look at that. <laughs> birthday candles on his tail. He brings his own candles. Yep, there's the birthday party Saurus <laughs> with the ice cream volcano. Boy, oh boy, this is kind of fun. I hope you had fun drawing your very own birthday party saurus liam what do you think of that huh how did yours come out good is yours looking at a tasty cake as well maybe with some ice cream so he doesn't have candles on the cake yet because he brought the candles that's his job he's gonna put the candles on the birthday cake that's pretty cool Big important job, big responsibility. If you lived back during that time, you remember the icing age. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with these drawings. And again, maybe I've been cooped up too long inside like the rest of us, right? We start to get silly. That's okay, we're not doing any harm. <laughs> Just having some fun with our pencils and our markers. And our colors as well. Sometimes we add the color at the end, right? Let's see, get rid of all these eraser markings. Look at that. Megan, did you draw a dinosaur or a birthday party saurus as well? <laughs> I hope you did. And if you did, I hope you had fun. Now you can go to town and get those colored markers out or some crayons or colored pencils. Maybe add some color to this character. That's awesome. All right, I hope you had fun today on Wacky Character Day <laughs> with our birthday party Saurus. All right, and don't forget, if you want to send me your art, just send it to me at mycartoonart at yahoo.com. Make sure mom or dad or some whoever takes care of you does that for you. Don't get, on, don't get online and start emailing. You just leave that to the adults. If you want to send me a picture of your artwork, I'd love to see it. Mycartoonart at yahoo.com. All right, be well, stay safe, and have a great day. Take care of one another now. Bye-bye.